I made a Minecraft mod pack to improve your FPS. Now, here's a comparison between regular Minecraft, Optifine, and my mod pack. And as you can see, my mod pack beats them by a lot of FPS. I mean, what was Optifine even doing here? This right here is what regular Minecraft looks like for me at max settings. I'm struggling to get even 10 FPS. I'm gonna solve that issue for you. Now, this right here is the exact same world standing at the exact same spot on the exact same computer with the exact same settings, everything to the max, with shaders, and somehow we managed to go up to a hundred and some FPS with everything to the max. I didn't change a single setting, I just added my mod pack. Now, if I turn off the shaders and I leave every single setting to the max, everything fancy, we get close to 300 FPS, and that is while I'm recording at 4K. So if I wasn't recording right now, I'll probably be above 300 FPS. Stay around until the end of this video so you can finally get those FPS up in Minecraft and you can play without any issues. Now, here's how to install this mod pack. Click on the second link in the description, which is an article on how to install ModRaint. ModRaint is the app that is going to allow us to install this mod pack. It's super simple to do. All you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says ModRaint. Of course, you could read through the guide, but just go ahead and click here. Once over here, click where it says download the ModRaint app, and that'll begin the download for the installer of ModRaint. Once you have the installer, just go ahead and launch it, and then just click next a couple of times. Since I already have it, it's asking me if I want to delete it. I don't. Just click next a couple of times, and then install it, and that's it. Once you finish the installer, click on finish, and then launch your ModRaint app. Once in the ModRaint app, you might have to log in with your Minecraft account. Once you do, go ahead and head over to browse, and where it says search mod packs, type ITZ, and then Optimus. And you will see our mod pack in here, our It's Optimus mod pack by It's Cuba. Then you could go ahead and click where it says install. I already have it, but I'm gonna go ahead and install it again. It doesn't matter. And then you guys are gonna have our mod pack. You could head over to the home button here or to your library, and you will see our It's Optimus mod pack in here. And you could go ahead and click on play. And that is it. You now have the It's Optimus mod pack, and you could play Minecraft with so many FPS now. And before we even launch the mod pack, you could always head over to your library, click on it. Head over to options, scroll down, and you could override the amount of RAM that you give your mod pack. For example, I'm giving it 16 gigabytes, but if you want to give it something like 8 gigabytes, then you just write 8,000 in here at the end. Or if you want to give it 4 gigabytes, you just write 4,000 and you get it. You write the amount of gigabytes in thousands. So yeah, 4,000 megabytes equals around 4 gigabytes. And I recommend that you look at how much RAM you have available on your computer and you give it less than half. So for example, I have 64 gigabytes of RAM. So me giving it 16,000, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM, wouldn't affect me a lot. But if you have something like 16 gigabytes, you could give it something like 4,000 or maybe 8,000, which is really half of your gigabytes and your mod pack should perform better. Once you found an amount of RAM that you're happy with, just click on play. Once in Minecraft, if we open our F3 menu, you will see that our FPS is actually really, really high, especially compared to how much we had at the beginning. And right now I'm recording a 4K, which lowers my FPS a little bit. But if I wasn't recording, my FPS actually hits 600, 700, 800. So this is actually really, really great. And I just went ahead and put Minecraft with the max settings and as well as adding the render distance to the max with the simulation distance to the max. And we're still hitting more than 200 FPS, which is insane. And on top of having every setting to the max, I also added shaders and check this out. We're still getting more than 100 FPS with shaders at every setting to the max. Now, here is the game with normal settings, but using shaders, and we are still getting more than 200 FPS all at the same time while I'm recording a 4K. So that is pretty important because if I wasn't recording a 4K, I would probably be close to the 300 FPS using Blitz shaders, which are not necessarily the most optimized shaders. So yeah, if you were using some other shaders and not recording a 4K like I am, you would probably be hitting a lot of FPS. However, I still have to say that this game feels extremely smooth the quality of it feels natural, it doesn't feel forced, and this mod pack will definitely improve your FPS by a lot. Anyways guys, that has been it for today, I hope this mod pack really helps out a lot of you, and you're finally able to play Minecraft smoothly in any computer. If this mod pack helped you, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment telling me how much FPS I improve on your computer. Did you finally manage to get at least 60 FPS on Minecraft? Also comment down below if I should make a Discord for this mod pack and for this community that we are creating here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, bye bye.